Hello everyone, welcome to my first ever and probably last ever cooking stream. This might be the last stream you ever see with me. I might get graduated after this. Cause not gonna lie, um listen, I don't listen, I'm just scared. I'm so nervous. I'm going to dox like everything. Okay, listen, I just if my face gets leaked today, okay. I just want you to know. Listen, I look beat today, okay? There I look better most of the time. I swear to, okay. Okay, it's me. Hello, how are you doing? Okay, so uh, as you can see, I'm um, right here. I have my, my my trusty dusty pot. Okay, this is this is where the magic is gonna happen this stream. Okay, everything in this pot will be like created into something better. As any professional chef will tell you, okay, um, you need to start off in the kitchen on the right foot. Okay, and that means. You need to put um you need to put your gloves on okay look you see these yes you need to make sure you have your your safety gloves on this is a tutorial for those of you that don't know how to cook rice i'm really just trying to educate you so these gloves um these are um you know these are elastic ones you can find them at your supermarket okay um and you know or like your your wherever the hell you shop you know and so they're really they're really good to put on your hands so that you know they can stay dry and you know it doesn't contaminate anything you know and like they also protect you you know they'll protect you from your own cooking you know if you touch you know your own cooking like it might kill you if it's not cooked properly so you know these are your safety gloves okay they're your safety gloves they have heat built in protection okay they can stop explosions um they also double function as oven mitts and can even like potentially stop your house from burning down so if you don't wear these um you're actually like throwing in the kitchen oh, oh my god this why is my kid so is that now that i have my safety gloves on okay you can see that uh, i'm very ready to be safe and i cannot be killed by the elements that i put into this pot okay does not matter why i put to this pot i will be safe from it okay whether it's a toxic gas okay an explosion a chemical or even just like you know store-bought rice okay so step one okay you need to get your rice now here i have my rice okay as you can see you know it's a uh, it is a uh, you know nice rice um so as you can see i have poured a modest portion of rice for us today okay this is the rice we're gonna be eating um as a as a uh, as a, the kill me's okay collectively okay so i'm gonna pour this rice in the, in the in the bowl because you know we need to wash it okay if you guys don't understand washing rice is like it's a very it's a very important detail if you don't wash your rice you're like you're sinning you know you you apparently have committed you know war crime okay you killed people like you're you're doing everything terrible so i'm you know i'm gonna show you the proper way to wash the rice okay now that the rice and the pot are in the pot and the rice okay i'm going to um i'm going to put water in the pot so we can you know we can you know wash the rice okay so let me get get some fresh water okay real quick so as you can see we have water here in this cup okay this is a very special cup this cup was forged by um the the dollar section of the grocery store is very important if you've never used one of these before they're they're very great okay so what you do is you pour the water okay into the you know you gotta wash it okay like listen i prefer to wash with my hands but you can honestly wash with anything okay um the next step in my rice tutorial now this is very important step okay so i don't know if you've known but like this is is, is soap okay it's, it is a it is a the very like you know the the dish soap now this will clean out all the the, the nastiness in the rice so you just got to make sure you pour enough of this into the rice um it's blue so you can see where it is um now you might be like okay well the soap that's kind of nasty well wait 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 i have a, a a trick a hack okay listen so i have this here this this is a uh, sponge okay now what you're gonna do is you're gonna take the soap and the rice and you're just gonna stir it like this with the sponge now as you can see the sponge you know it's very uh absorbent and it's cleaning the rice very well um and see as you can see that the rice water it's it's turning even murkier which means we're absorbing more of the um unhealthy you know starches and stuff that is gonna make the rice nasty you know and you know it's very it's a very good way you know you have to really make sure you get in there and you scrub you know like every aspect of every grain of rice needs to be scrubbed 
if you don't get every grain, um, it can be pretty unhealthy. So you need to make sure you scrub every grain of rice. Okay, so I think it's actually better to use liquid soap because bar soap does not dissolve into the rice as easily. So with the liquid soap, you already have the instant action um, when you scrub. It's, you know, it's already, it's instantly cleaner and it automatically becomes, you know, very soapy. With bar soap, you need to wait a little bit, which can cause some issues, you know. And you don't want chunks of heavy soap, you know, in your rice after you filter it, after you wash it, because you don't want to actually taste the soap. You just need the soap to do the washing for you, and then you're going to filter it out later with the strainer. Do you have insurance? Um, I do have, uh... I do have health insurance and cooking insurance. So don't worry if you ever give yourself um, any illnesses with cooking, you do make sure you have health insurance and maybe a uh, poison control on the line. Um, but you know, well, since we're not making any complicated dishes um, such as uh, puffer fish or anything of the sorts, you know, you don't really need to worry too much about poison control. Just make sure you cook your food all the way, of course. So look, you can see there's a lot of bubbles. It's almost like when you wash a car, okay? Except you're washing rice, you see that? Look at how beautiful that looks. Okay, so I think we've done enough uh, scrubbing of our rice. Like, I think we did a good job, you know? So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna filter this out um, in the sink real quick. Yeah, so after you strain the rice, make sure you have a bowl ready to put the rice in, unlike me who forgot it at the sink. A very important step, you need bowl ready, okay? Now, here you can see our beautiful rice. Um, let me get, get it closer to the camera so you can see. You can see all the soap bubbles, you know? and everything you know it's very clean rice you know it's so clean there's still some soap in it so that's how you know you did a good job yeah so as you can see this is our rice it's beautiful um so now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna prepare some water to boil so what you need to do is get a pot um real quick i'm gonna wash my hands a little bit more now make sure you always have paper towels ready you know to to clean up any excess moisture you know within your um within your hands and in your rice you need to make sure you absorb the extra moisture too because you don't want the rice to be too moist before you cook it um that can actually cause some problems so as you can see it's absorbed some of the moisture um that means we've done a good job with our rice okay so now we need to get a pot so as you can see we have the rice you know it looks very nice you can see there's you know it's super clean squeaky clean bubbly clean almost you know this is gonna be the pot that we're gonna put our rice in. Um, it's a very uh, handy dandy pot, it's super sturdy. Um, so all you need to do is you need to, you know, actually before you pour rice in, you need to put water in the pot. Now I'm gonna use this cup again to pour water into the pot. Um, actually I'll use a different one because it has the dirty sponge in it. As you can see, um, we're going to fill this with water. So here we have uh, the stove, okay? So what we're gonna do is you're gonna have to turn on the stove like this, okay? You see this? Okay. Now, uh, oh, that's a big stove, okay. And essentially you need to just keep it on until the water starts boiling. Okay, so now that the water's boiling, we're gonna add the rice to the water, okay? So as you can see, the rice is in is in the water, okay? Um, now, I also, you, so there are two things you can do after this chat. You can add butter into it, okay? Or what you can do is you can add uh, olive oil. Now, for my own convenience, I'm gonna add olive oil because I don't feel like melting butter. But butter is always an option. Um, okay, so now as you can see, there's uh, olive oil in the rice now, you know? Now, chat, once it starts to kind of boil again, um, what you need to do is you need to take it from this like very hot boily state to simmer. So you turn down your stove. Like so, okay. And then what you do is you add, um, 
a glass top on top of it, so. That one fits perfectly. And you're just going to let it sit there for a little bit. Um, just to make sure the rice cooks, you know. And it will cook now like a convection oven. You know, the steam of the rice will start cooking it. And it will start getting, you know, steamed like steam rice, you know. As you can see, um, our rice has simmered down a little bit. So we're going to remove the, the, the glass top, okay. Now, so, this is our rice um, now that it has been cooked. Um, and as you can see, it's, it's, it's a bit, you know, it's a bit clumpy, but it, it works, you know, it, it's very, you know, edible. And so we're going to put some of this in this nice bowl here. Just, let me just pour it into the, into the bowl, you know. Okay, so. Now that our rice has been, uh, fully, you know, uh, you know, poured into this nice bowl here. Um, it's ready to be eaten. Now, I'm gonna take off our, 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 our trusty dusty cooking glove because the cooking is complete and we can now eat safely without worrying about fear of our rice. As you can see, our rice actually looks pretty good. Um, it's been, you know, cooked to perfection. Um, and, it, you know, it has a nice, like, you know, solidity to it, but it also, you know, it can, it can move a bit, you know? And, you know, it's very ricey, so, yeah, you know? Now, a lot of people like to put, um, you know, like, soy sauce, or, you know, like, like, you know, other stuff onto their rice. Um, but me, me personally, um, I like to eat it plain. Um, so now I'm going to get some silverware and I'm going to eat this and it lets you know my taste uh, rating on 1 to 10 based on my past work. I'm going to take a nice big scoop of this rice, okay, with this nice fork right here, you know. I'm going to just eat it and I'm going to let you know how it tastes. Honestly, pretty solid. I think I might have added a little bit too much butter. I'm sorry, olive oil. But I do think despite that, you know, it does taste pretty good. Um, I'm actually very like, um, I'm a very established in my craft, you know, I've been at this for a long time, you know, the rice game, it's very complicated. It's very, you know, there's a lot of competition, you know, tons of competition. It's a very competitive marketplace. So, you know, I do like, you know, I understand those of you that can, that cannot keep up, um, and that are stuck using, you know, outdated recipes that no one uses anymore. You know, it's, it's, un it's understandable. Um. I'm just here to tell you, like, this is the correct way. Pork yo's rice. My rice is not poured. It's very, it's very rich in flavor. Look, chat. This, does this not look rich in flavor to you, bro? Yeah, here's my, my, my rice made with love, chat. Um, you know. Boom. You know. Here you go, chat. This is your fan service for the month. Okay, look at this. Hold on, let me like frame it where like the rice is in the, is in the heart. Uh, uh, this is so hard. Doing fan service is so difficult, bro. Um, and as always, you know, when you're done cooking, make sure you clean up all the ingredients. You know, you don't want to keep a, a clean kitchen for sanitary purposes. Um, and like I said, you know, when you cook, always make sure you use your safety gloves. Always use the safety gloves. If you don't use the safety gloves, you can get sick.